Hey y'all, hey, um, on here I'm going to show you something I do in Silhouette Studio. Um, in Design Space, we use something that's called Offset. So you're going to make your own offset. Now they do have an option for you to do this in Silhouette Studio. I don't like the offset in Silhouette Studio compared to um, the one in Design Space. The one in Silhouette Studio... The reason I like it is because I'm using eco solvent. So you really don't want a white outline on your prints. So this is kind of why I'm going to show you this little trick. You could know it. If not, and you're new to silhouette and you just want to do some printing from here. This is really cool. If you zoom in, the first thing we're going to do with this image, I'm going to blow it up so you can see it. We're going to go over here to this butterfly. And we're going to hit select trace area. This is how we're going to remove the entire background on this image. So now you get this little square that goes like this. So it highlights it. Over in this same corner, I'm going to turn it back around here. You're going to see 45%. Normally, I turn it to 100. Let's see how much. See 100% takes my entire image in yellow. So here I'm going to hit trace and detach. Y'all, this lightning is horrible. Let's see if that's better. So on trace and detach, I'm going to move it back over here to this image. You see the dollar signs are apart. So I'm going to put this back, hit the back key so I can go directly back in the same spot. And see that? It took all that away. Because my dollar signs are so close together, I'm going to move this around some. Highlight it all so I can get all the dollar signs in the image again. And I'm going to hit group. So I'm able to move this around. I don't need this anymore. So to make this have like a offset or just say an outline so I can cut, we're going to go over here. You're going to see three lines. This is one, two, three, four. It's the fourth symbol. Over here, um, you pick a color. So I want my outline to be black. And then I'm going to go back here. And I want this to be about 3.5. You can find out about what you want it. But I do 3.5 on here. make sure it went through I'm gonna make this 3.5 now we're gonna turn it to black see the 3.5 it looks a little thick but it looks really good if you don't want 3.5 you can always tune this down to 2.5 and you see the lines thinning out some. These are my kids in the background. They're in the room watching TV, but they are so loud, I promise. So now we have an image with a outline. And if I wanted this green, I could do it green. I just think that would be too much. So I do black, which is a standard color. I'm going to keep this going because I'm doing eco-solving prints. So I can let you see a little bit of how it's going. I really want to do a begin to finish for you guys, but that'll come over time because I've been messing up some paper over here, but I've learned so much. So um, my piece of paper that I'm going to be using for this image is going to be 11 by 17. So over here, I'm going to go to machine. It's automatically going to go to my Cameo 3. Um my paper size is going to be 11 by i think it's 14 it could be 16 but i make it 14. i'm going to be using a cut mat that's 12 by 24. we're gonna go over to this one here which is registration marks once i add those registration marks you see this image look totally different so I'm going to turn this image sideways by going to object at the top. Let's see if you can see that. Now, there you go. 
I'm going to go to object. I'm going to hit rotate. And I'm going to hit 90 degrees. That's going to make my image sideways. And I want to make this as big as possible. I'm going to fill it up. The good thing about it, you see where you cannot overgo. You see the red lines. So basically, you don't want to go over these little squares right here for your image. And you don't want to go above this red line. So that's completely done and is ready to cut. I'm going to go to print. This is going to be printing for my Epson 7310. This is the eco solvent printer is what I have. I don't have to mirror this image. That's a great thing. So see my print preview, how it looks. I always want to go back and make sure that my paper is set for 11 by 14. My registration marks are there. I'm going to hit print again. What I will do is do a print preview before I cut this image. So I'm going to go to print. I'm going to look up that one. We're going to always check preferences. I'm going to be printing from tray one. And I'm going to put in those, um, the same exact 11 by 14 in here. And push OK. I'm going to put presentation paper mat. I could change it, but I just do that one there. I go to more. It's already on that. We're going to go to custom. From custom, we're going to go to advanced. And we're going to change this to Adobe RGB and press OK. And OK. So before I hit this, I have no paper cut. So you guys get to also see that today. So give me a second to get my paper, scissors, and stuff together so you can see exactly what I do next. So how I kind of get this paper is I use a piece of 11 by 17 sublimation paper. This is the roll of printable vinyl. I bought this from Heat Transfer Warehouse. It's the Sizer Color Print Easy. That's what I got. And I think this is like 14 or 16 inches long. But, of course, the 11 by 17 will be longer than it. And I basically roll out what I'm going to use. Now, y'all, I did say I was going to roll some extra out and cut up paper. I haven't had a chance. Been a little sick. But we're not going to let that stop, you know, what we got going on. I'm feeling a lot better. So, I have this paper here. And it's basically going to give me the 11 wide. And I'm just lining it up. Now, some people use a cutting board to do this. I have sublimation paper, so I'm going to use that. And just get it on as straight as possible. And you're going to see me do a mark up here. And I'm going to do a mark at the bottom. So that tells me this is 11 long. And then I'll remeasure it. I got this cutting tool from Amazon. Yeah, that's what I got from Amazon. And I'm going to send my paper to here. And it's going to make a precise cut. Because y'all, when I first started, I tried cutting with scissors. This stuff was so cricket. If I tell you this is just a learning hack, I line up my lines. They told me where it was 11 wide at. This machine, this, this little cutting tool is really cool. It goes all the way through your paper. And you got your piece of eco solvent paper. My next thing I do to make sure that my measurements are correct. Now, this is something I could have did in the beginning, but I went to do this video just to make it a short video, but it came a little longer. I get my measuring tape and I go across and it's a little bit to 11. Sorry about that. My son was all in my space, y'all. So I measure this to kind of see where I'm at. And this is a little bit over 11. So I do have it set at 11. But this is an equal, an unequal cut. And it's still 11. And then for height, I go from top to bottom. This is a 14-inch roll. No, it's a 15-inch roll. But I made mine 14. So we have this together. 
when you put this in your printer, you're going to put the shiny side. As you can tell, there's a matte side. There's a shiny side. We're going to put the shiny side up in the printer. I'm going to take you over to the printer so you can watch me load that printer also. All right, we're over at the printer. I'm not taking this to the back. I'm going to take it to the bottom. And this is the matte side. This is the shiny side. With this here, the side you wanted to print on, you put it face down. I'm going to put that in there like so. You kind of want to make sure you get it in there kind of equal so it won't print one-sided. We're going to close that up. We've already set our dimensions on how we want it to print. So we're going to send it over to this printer. And our print preview screen from Silhouette is showing an 8.5 by 11 because that's what I was using yesterday. But today we're at 11 by 14. So it's going to really look really, really good um, on that. When it goes over here, it's going to tell me that the paper size to make sure so is correct size because I'm steady switching paper sizes. So instead of me just making it set at one size, I decide just to hit the OK button on my printer. Let me show you how that looks. So now it's telling me to load the appropriate paper size. It's saying the one the user defined. That's the one I put in for 11 by 10. Got to hit OK. This tray is going to pop out and it's going to start the printing. If you do not put it on presentation mat or, you know, something like that, it will print really fast. Just like if you're printing from your sublimation printer, you want this to get all the ink in here. So when it's finished printing out, I'll let you see a video of that full page. And I'm going to also take you over to the Cameo machine to see it cut the image. One of the things that always make me cross my fingers with the Cameo, it would have to be to make sure you see this dot here and this line here. If they don't show up, it will not read. You know, with Cricut, it was normally just a square. We needed this square in order for it to read it. Well, with Cameo, it's going to be the corner lines and the square. If you don't see that where it's supposed to be, that means your page length that you have put in is too short or too long or too short because if it's too short it will not print these corners compared to what you put it in that machine what you put it in that software to be and see it's a corner here there's a dot here and there's a corner here this is what that cameo machine is gonna run and scan in order to print so let's get back over to the cameo machine to the computer and silhouette so I can show you the buttons to push to put it through the Cameo machine. All right, so we back at this top up here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. You're going to see design. This is where we at. You're going to see store, library, and send. We're going to send over to our Cameo. If you needed to change it, I've been keeping it on this exact thing for a cut. This is how our image look. So this is how the Cameo is going to cut it. Just this basic little circle here. And that's what they're going to cut the little lines, all this meticulous things that you do not want to cut. That's what it's going to do. At the bottom, you see it tells me my Cameo is ready to go and I just need to send it. Well, Cameo, you can't just send items. You kind of got to put them on the mat, upload it from, to the mat, into the machine. And then you have to come back over here and hit send. Or you can use a USB um, a chip. And you can put all your stuff you want to cut and just let the machine do it. I did find out when you want to repeat a cut on Cameo, it is going to read it the exact same way. So if your paper is not equal, it's going to mess up. So every time I want the Cameo machine to scan it and cut it for me. So let me get a mat. I will show you the craft room, but again, I have not worked in a week. And it looks like I haven't been up here in a week, you guys. I promise it's a mess. I'm going to get it back together and I said I'm going to do a video to show you guys my entire craft room. On Silhouette, we said that we were going to be using a 12 by 24 mat. And that's what I went to get was a 12 by 24 mat. Face up, nothing is mirrored. You're using eco solvent. So now I'm going to put this on this board. Do I have a new board? I do. 
I just choose not to open it. I know it's being lazy, but it's me. I'm going to put a little tape to make sure this stays on here. I don't want it to shift while cutting. Just hope it don't mess it up when reading it. So I'm going to take this over to the machine and we're going to load it up. This is my Cameo 3. I named her Bertha. Don't ask me why. I just felt like she was super huge when I put her next to my Cricut machine. Y'all, this is the part I don't like. Over here on this right side, you can't really see it. But if you look, there's a touch screen. You're going to hit load. Once you load it, it's going to let you know it's ready to go. It's going to say ready. So I can use this USB or I can go over to the machine. So what I'm doing since I am Bluetooth to this laptop, I'm going to go over and hit send. I got everything that I want and it's going to say the Cameo is ready. So I'm going to hit send. It's going to start scanning. Y'all, this is the part I hate about it. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. I'll do another video to show you how I weeded this out. This will let you know I was just working and wasn't thinking about nothing. But these are the final prints. I'm going to put masking tape on top of it. And with the masking tape, I'm going to press it on 350 for 10 seconds. Then I'll put a Teflon sheet and press it additional 5 seconds. But this is how this look, man. This is Eco Solvent Prints, and this is me using Silhouette. Silhouette allows you to print bigger than Design Space would ever will. If you have any questions or concerns, um, drop them in the comments. If you have prints that you need printed out, you can email me, zycreations17 at gmail, and we can get these out within a week turnaround if it's under 10. As always with our creations, thank you for watching and happy crafting.